good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching from welcome back to our youtube channel and today we are going to talk about 10 things you might not know about us mm -hmm. Now, I realize some of you guys, you already know. You know us, you know some of these things. But there's things in these lists that we have. We have lists here um, that some of you guys might find interesting. So that's the video for this week. If you're new, you count yourself lucky because you get to know things that you, yeah, people don't know about us. Also this week, we are doing a collab with my friend Steph. So let's get into the collab right now and we'll get back to the video after this. Hi guys, I am doing a collab with my fellow YouTuber and has amazing content of which I think you guys will love. Also, she's a mom of four beautiful children. One of her last videos actually, she was telling us about her amazing home birth and how all of that went very interesting video and um, she does a lot of like videos on the beauty of homemaking cooking thrifting um, a lot of things like that and also she has a 1700s home that they are renovating right now one of her recent videos was um, the bedroom makeover that she did it's amazing the work that she does I think you guys will love her channel, so go on over and give her a follow on Instagram. It's this period, golden period hour, as well as her YouTube channel, which is called this golden hour as well. So go on over, subscribe to her channel, give her a follow on Instagram, and I know you will love it. She just had a little baby and the cutest little thing ever. Um, so yeah, doing a collab with her. and. Just felt like my audience would love her channel as well. Taking you to different shops that she loves shopping at and um, showing you guys what you can expect if you decide to go shopping in Lancaster County. So I hope you guys enjoy her channel and enjoy her beautiful content on her Instagram page. And let me know what you think. All right, let's get into today's video. 10 things you might not know about us. Honey, you go first. You bet. What is the first thing you wanna tell them? That people don't know about you. Uh, yeah. So people usually know me as Corey. Um, Why do they call you Corey though? How did you get the nickname? Let's start there. Okay. Um, you know, uh, back in, in, in campus, I actually I started going to the gym when I was still in primary school. Then ever since then, you know, my body started to build up and I started having muscles. So the word Kore, you know, it comes from, it's a Lua word means uh, chest. So like you had a big chest. So the Lua word for chest or big chest is Kore. Yeah. Not Kore, but Kore. 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 Okay. You see? So yeah, the guy just started calling me that. Corey. So shout out Corey. to you guys. You you created the Cory we all know today. Yep. So what's your real name? Like um, certificate real name. Yeah. My real name is Kelvin Opanga Bichanga. I know Bichanga is always uh I've had people trying to pronounce that name Bichanga. Yeah, it's just so simple like that. Bichanga, Bichanga. Like Jimmy Changa. No, the Changa. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and for my first thing, point one that I'm going to tell you guys that you might not know about me is that growing up, obviously I grew up Amish. We had lots of horses. And there is this brand of horse in the US called Miniature Ponies. The, like the full grown horses are just very small. So oftentimes kids love riding the miniature ponies. So I was riding my miniature pony. Me and my sister were both horseback riding and the pony went running and I wasn't riding like with the horse. I was riding like this. And so then it jumped over this small ravine. Let me say ravine. And I went flying and I landed and I actually broke 
my left arm, both of the bones in here I broke. Then my dad bought me a big horse and forced me to ride again. During campus, I used to be a DJ. I used to be a music producer and I used to rap. And one of your songs kinda went viral in Kis Kisumu. Mm -hmm. So the second thing you might not know about me is um, I actually have epilepsy. It started randomly when I was like 21. We did tons of testing to try to figure out what was causing the seizures. Um, we never really found answers to it. Um, but I actually had a seizure on the way over the first time to Kenya. And after having seizures here, like, I used to have them like once a month. At one point, they were really bad and I had two in a week. Um, but we found an Asian doctor on this side. And um, now I take one pill a day and I haven't had seizures for probably three or four years, if not more. So I'm glad they went away and I have my confidence and my life back. But yeah, I have epilepsy. Number three, uh, this is about me, you know. Um, I am very loyal to the people I love. Mm -hmm. And I love people easily. Yeah. That's why I love him. Just very simple like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the third thing about me is I used to yodel. I haven't yodeled in a long time. And um, I actually made a music video with my brother. <laughs> the audio is so bad. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. We did everything with iPhone recording. <laughs> So if you want to go look at that, the title of the video is like Sylvia's official yodeling video, maybe. It's not the best. Anyway, I still enjoy yodeling. <laughs> He's Kenya. never been outside of Kenya. Yeah, even just going to... Mombasa. No, Mombasa is in Kenya. You haven't you... been to Mombasa is what oh. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been to, you know... One of the biggest city in Kenya, Nairobi. Nairobi. Kanairo. That's the <laughs> the latest <laughs> name for it. Kanairo. <laughs> <laughs> Nairobi. They get the name because there's so many thieves. Point number four for me, along with my last point, my grandma is Swiss. She talks in Swiss. Um, so yeah. Number five. I know people are gonna be <laughs> so surprised, yeah. I've been to jail before. Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> yeah, handcuffs. <laughs> so I was arrested, taken to jail for about 20 minutes. What did you do? That's what everyone wants to know. Oh, the reason why I was taken to jail is because, you know what? I was, <laughs> I borrowed a friend of mine, is picky. No one was supposed to go within the town center, either with a picky or a matatu. Like a van or a motorbike. Yeah. So I accidentally, I was dropping my friend. It dro I wasn't doing like the picky picky business. So yeah, I was just arrested for that. And for yeah. being in the town center. Mm-hmm. And oh. I ended up in jail <laughs> for 20 minutes. Was it enough? Ah, <laughs> I thank God I, <laughs> I left so early. Talking about being arrested in Kenya, I almost got arrested the other day too, but <laughs> that's a whole nother story. <laughs> These guys arrest you for looking at them the wrong way. Anyway, they didn't get me. I just walked away. Um, I used to be Amish. Most of you know that about me, I think. I used to be Amish until I was 12. Then we went to Rumspringer. The whole family. <laughs> it was a family occasion. <laughs> so are you. 
Number six. I used to play soccer uh, both in primary school and secondary school. Uh, if I can remember, back in primary school, I used to be uh, a striker. Then in secondary, I was like, no, you can't, you can't be scoring so many goals like that. Go help us to protect the, the goals from being scored in our own post. So I became a goalkeeper in high school, which is the secondaries. Yeah. Number six, you might not know about me, is my dad almost died of COVID. He was actually in the ICU for a few months. He was on the ventilator. Um, and to this day, he has not regained his full voice because he was on the ventilator. I think it was 21 days until he made um, a recovery. And he was going downhill, downhill, downhill. We thought we were going to lose him until they put him on a rotating bed that flipped him on his stomach. Um, and it was like he was laying kind of in a downhill angle and he was on his stomach. So the actually the gravity pulled the things out of his lungs. Um, and he we saw him turn around immediately from that. And he spent three days, four days off and on on that bed and truly it's what saved his life i really wish with all of this covid um rotating beds are just as important as ventilators in my opinion so i really hope all hospitals have that access to their customers because i truly feel it's what saved my dad he was sedated he was on the ventilator but he kept on declining until they flipped him on his stomach on the rotating bed and it would flip to this side for maybe five minutes this way five minutes this way five minutes it never went full circle just he was on his stomach flipping these three angles for sometimes nine ten hours at a time then they'd remove him give him a break for maybe three hours then he'd go back but it's what made him recover we thank god and we love you, Daddy. Yes. Yeah. So number seven. Number seven. Uh, I think these are for some of the guys they've seen. I'm always a very calm guy. I don't talk much. I talk less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I make up for the rest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's super calm. And uh, like in our marriage, I'm the one who gives him a kick in the butt when he needs to like go, and he's the one to like pull me down and tell me to like calm down. She's she, okay. This is no this is not part of the list, but she is a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't have guessed that, honey bunch. <laughs> and, and I'm so stubborn. Uh, yeah, most of the time I usually he has to um, deal with me and tell me to calm down and. Mm -hmm. My family, they gave up. They were like, <laughs> take her. We give up. We give up. We give up. Take <laughs> her. Teach her something. Yeah. So far, so good. <laughs> we are enjoying our marriage. Yeah. We are a great team. Yeah. So number seven for me is my family was um, missionaries here in Kenya for three years. Like everyone in my family except my oldest sister. So it was me, my three younger brothers, my mom and dad. We lived here in Kenya three years, and that's obviously where I met him. Talking about family. Number eight. What does it uh, have to do with family? Yeah. I am the fourth born. I have two sisters and three brothers. For those who don't who do know about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sisters are the troublemakers. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> he has great brothers. I love his brothers. And I love my sisters too. Yeah, I love his sisters too. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, she said sometimes. <laughs> okay, so number eight for me, I've had glasses, contacts, the things you put on your eye instead of glasses. Oh, Do yeah. you guys know what contacts yeah, are? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, and we know. We we know. <laughs> okay. Like the thin slippery things you put on your eye instead of glasses. Yeah. 
And then I've had braces, the things to bring your teeth in order. That's mm-hmm. awkward. <laughs> and I've had laser hair removal, like on my arms. Guys, I- it's painful. I've never gotten a tattoo, but I would imagine it's up with that pain. They take a laser light. You can, like, I could see sparks flying off my skin from the laser, like, zapping the hair. And, like, I had to wear, like, eye protectant. The lady had to wear eye protectant. No one else was allowed in the room because the room would, like, have the light transmitting from the machine. Anyway, laser hair removal. Very, very painful. Very expensive. Don't think I would do it again. Number nine. This goes to my country people. Yawa. <laughs> my people, I am a Kisi by birth. That's his tribe. He's not yeah. a Luo, you guys. I'm not a Luo. I'm not a Luya. Even though, yeah, I look like mm-hmm, a Luo. Luo or a Luya. But I am a Kisi. Typical, typical Kisi. This goes to my country people. For the Americans, yeah, I'm a Kenyan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's stick with Kenyan. Yep. Because Americans, whenever you say you're, you're a kissy, they'll always think kissing. Oh. <laughs> Full stop. Kissing only, that's what... Actually, kiss is uh, one of the tribes. I, I think I've said it in uh, in one of our previous videos. Yeah, they like bananas and goat intestines and they make their R's into L's and so it's laning and they go learning. <laughs> Cindy. Just like the Luos. Yeah, the Luos have their things they where, shrub. <laughs> where like the, the SH sounds. Yeah. They're just a, S. Sugar. Sugar. So, so like shoes, instead of saying shoes, they'll say shoes. So, and sugar, they'll be like suga. And fish, fish. Yeah. Unique people here in Africa. My number nine, it's actually super embarrassing. Probably the most embarrassing thing I'm going to say today. Ever since I was a baby, I'm talking infant in a crib. I fell asleep, shaking my head from side to side. (laughs) Like I lay on my stomach, put my hands like this on my pillow, and I shake my head like this to fall asleep. Up to date. Our marriage is fine, guys. (laughs) He sleeps like a log, thank God. I remember back in the day my dad telling me like, you need to break this habit before you get married. And at times I could try stopping. But I'll wake up in the night and I'm doing it. It's like a way I fall asleep. It's a habit completely. But it's like a way I fall asleep. I guess like some people might shake their leg, kind of rocking their body to fall asleep. It gets more weird the longer I talk about it. Let's just say he sleeps so hard he doesn't he doesn't mind it. Talking about <laughs> her shaking her head head. For me, I grind my teeth while sleeping. Uh-huh. So these are collab <laughs> things. Like I <laughs> <laughs> We're weird. <laughs> We're weird. We get it. So I'm used to her shaking her head. So she needs to get used to my. It drives me <laughs> insane. Okay, like I don't mind it that much, but like some, it's like whenever you wake up and you you shift, it's like. <laughs> So I'm always like reaching up and I'm like putting my fingers in between the teeth. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, actually, yeah. If you love someone, there's a lot you can put up with. (laughs) Says the married couple for a few months. Check back in 10 years. If we're still together. (laughs) (laughs) This is the last one. Number 10. Um, Like I said, back then I used to lift uh, weights, right? Mm -hmm. So... I've been doing it for uh, several, 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 several. <laughs> yeah, I'm a kiss. Like, several. Yeah, several. Se- <laughs> se- several. Several. Yeah, several years. That's actually a really weird English word. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the kissy English. Yeah, I've done it like for several years. Um, and 
you know it's healthy for me it makes it makes me to be physically fit and yeah I he'll love he'll it. outlive me no doubt <laughs> just like your dad your dad is like old but he looks like 40s yeah that reminds me <laughs> someone thought that we were brothers you and your dad yep yeah. okay so number 10 for me i broke my friend's nose oh boy Babe. Just the way they broke my nose. That sounds so bad. So, let me explain a little bit. When I was in school, I hate baseball, by the way, or softball, whatever. Everybody in my life knows I hate it. I actually can't hit the ball. Um, I'll watch it come and it can even hit me on the head. It did, in fact. It hit me on the head to the point where it bled at one point. Sorry. the bat and the ball don't collide for me hate the game everything about it running in circles hitting the ball catching the b- hate the game whoever came up with it rest in peace um so i always also had a harder time learning in school i was never one of those students that would be like chop 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 everything done waiting for the next class assignment i was always the one taking work home because i find studying and reading super boring i thought you were saying super sweet no so good <laughs> do you ever come home and find me reading a book no it doesn't happen i i know it's it's supposed to be the new thing along with making sourdough bread and drinking kombucha but i don't like reading what about it's torture reading status in whatsapp instagram that's not reading a book like <laughs> Okay, the point I'll of people nowadays reading okay. it's like anti-technology. We are healthy mm-hmm. by reading. Mm, no. I got you. Anyway, so finally the one day in school, I managed to finish all my work early. Wow. And guess what the teacher told me? Wow. Yeah. Don't be dramatic. Wow. The teacher told me, "Wow. Go out and practice hitting the ball oh. <laughs> with your friend." I was like, "Never again will I finish my work early. Like <laughs> this is not what I was expecting." So me and my friend we go out she pitches i miss she pitches i miss this continued for some time and she kept moving closer to me like maybe if i come one step closer you'll be able to hit it finally she was up within maybe 5 meters of me and i was like i'm going to i'm going to if i hit the ball you're going to get hurt and she was like clearly you can't hit the ball i'm not afraid of anything She A comes up to like later. five meters. A few moments later. Mm-hmm. I hit it hard. And it went zoom, right in her nose. Oh boy. And it, it was literally <laughs> like this. Just like me. <laughs> Yours is not broken. So I broke her nose. All I remember, I went to visit her at her house. She legit had a cast over her nose. Like you know the way you put a cast when something is broken. They put one over her nose. No way. Yes way. Anyway, I broke my friend's nose. Did you break your nose? I hope she she still loves you. She married my cousin, so. Wow. We good, we good. <laughs> yeah, she loves you, so. <laughs> you That's why she going. married my cousin, right? Okay. <laughs> you pray for today. Did Those you break your nose? Someone broke my nose. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Oh, we need a background story on that. Thanks guys for watching today. We hope you loved what you saw. Um like, subscribe, comment and share our channel with your friends. And we hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little more about us. We will see you guys next week. He, the main man here, is going to be doing a video about his hiking experience in Kisi. We hope you guys will enjoy. And lastly, uh before I forget, shout out to Tito and Moto. Tito, yeah, an African way to say it. Thank you so much. I you guys for always watching our video, for supporting us. Yeah, thanks so much. We love you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, in the seats. I can't feel my way.
I can't feel my leg. It's numb. Oh, this position is not a... Sitting on the bed. <sighs> Okay, guys, let's get into the vi today's video. Let me redo that. Emma, you want to say that? Hope you... Okay, okay. Um, what's her name? 